Hi kids. Do you know that some of the plants start their life from a seed? Seed. Yes. Let's see how a seed grows into a new plant and this is called seed germination. Seed germination. Now, let me ask you something. Have you seen a seed before? Let's look inside an apple. You can see a few tiny oval shaped objects in the core of an apple. They are the seeds of an apple. When given the right conditions, the apple seed could germinate and grow into a whole new apple tree. and make more apples. Wow! Isn't that awesome? So, a seed is a part of a plant which can grow into a new plant. Right! Seeds come in all sizes and shapes. Did you know that beans, corn kernel, lentils, rice, Peas and some of the spices are all seeds. Some seeds make yummy food. Right. Parts of a seed. Let's look inside a seed. The seed has three main parts. One of them is the seed coat. It is an outer protective covering that protects the seed. Next is an embryo. Embryo is a tiny plant inside the seed that can later develop into a new plant. The third part is a food storage for the growing embryo, also called endosperm. Okay. A seed has to be alive in order to germinate. What do seeds need to germinate and grow? The seeds need soil. Soil acts as a medium for the seed germination and growth. Water Water kickstarts the germination and helps the plant grow. Air is also important for germination. Sunlight is also required in the later part of the seed germination. Soil, water, air and sunlight. Now. Let's sow the seed and watch the process of seed germination. Let's give it some water. The seed loves the water and it soaks all the water and swells up. In the presence of oxygen in the air and a perfect temperature, the seed coat breaks open and a new small root grows out of it. This tiny root grows into the soil, absorbing more water and nutrients from the soil. Meanwhile, the embryo uses the stored food inside the seed and 
pushes tiny stone and leaves out. The seed coat shrinks and separates from the seed. These leaves then grow towards the sunlight and uses the energy from the sun to make more food through the process called photosynthesis. This is a seedling. Look, now you have a baby plant. Isn't that awesome? Awesome! The process by which a seed grows into a new plant or seedling is called germination. This seedling then grows into a full plant making its own flowers and fruits one day. Wow! Here you have some pictures of seed germination but not in order. Can you arrange them in sequence starting from seed to flower? I did it. That's awesome. <laughs> Hope you had great fun learning about germination. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching.